Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we'll be taking a look at two new figures in the Mattel Jurassic World line. I'm guessing Wave 2. They don't really have specific kind of wave names or anything like that. I just happened to run into these two at Walmart and I was like, hey, I didn't know these were out. So you have Claire and Stegosaurus and Wheatley. And I don't really know who Wheatley is. Just kind of looks like a generic soldier guy. If he's someone important from the movie, I apologize. I only saw it the one time in the theater, and that was about a month ago. So I don't remember Wheatley. But you can see they have the Owen in the armor. And then they kind of have another Owen. He's wearing the same outfit as the Owen that comes with the baby blue. But he's got like a long gun and this long stick and he's kind of battle damaged he has ripped clothes and everything i decided to pass on this one just because it looks very similar to the owen i already have Meh. but i thought uh wheatley was a new character and uh, i like this claire i do have a claire i think in a green jacket that came with the gyrosphere but this one has an adorable baby stegosaurus so decided to grab this one and then her packaging shows wheatley and the two other owens so there you go. Let's go ahead. We'll get these two out of the packaging so we can take a closer look. All right. So taking a closer look at these two out of the packaging. First up, we have the adorable tiny Stegosaurus. Very cute. It's kind of funny when you first look at it. This is its open mouth. And because its head kind of so seamlessly flows into its neck, it looks a little weird at first. But that's actually the eye right there, the tip of my nail. So this all here is the head with its mouth open. But Really nice paint here for the plates on the back. Kind of wish they extended to the spikes on the tail, but what are you going to do? Otherwise, it's a pretty cool little tiny stego. Very tiny. Obviously, no articulation. Legs are a little bit softer plastic. So are the spines. But overall, I like it. Very cool. Uh, here is the little accessory that Claire comes with. I'm not quite sure what this is. I'm guessing it's a meter of some kind. It takes some kind of readings, but this is stuck to the side, so... You can't really do anything with this. It just kind of looks neat. I don't know. I don't know what it is. If someone knows, please tell me in the comments below. <laughs> but here is Claire. Pretty decent face sculpt. The hair I think they did a nice job with. Head can go from side to side and has a little bit of up and down, but not too much. Shoulders have a joint like that, plus a swivel. Then you have similar kind of joint in the elbow. You can spin it as well as bend. Uh, the forearm and the hand is all one solid piece. She does have a waist swivel out to the side and front to back in the hips. And then the knees are very similar to the forearms. You can twist them as well as bend them. And then the leg and the boot is all one solid piece. But pretty nice articulation for a figure this size. I like her quite a bit. I guess you can have her hold this thing. I don't really know what it does or maybe... She carries it around. I don't know. I don't know what this thing is. <laughs> I don't know what it does. But she has a baby Stego, which is cool. Alright, then we have Wheatley. This is kind of your generic soldier-looking dude. He has all the same articulation as Claire. He looks pretty good, though, I have to say. I like his boots. He's got his combo. He's got kind of a gun molded in there on the holster. Uh, his accessories are actually pretty cool. So he comes with this gun. Pretty simplistic. But then he has this gun case, which opens up and he's got, I guess, his trophies. Oh, I remember this guy from the movie now. He always pulls the teeth out of the dinosaurs he captures. Yeah, he's a creepy dude. Anyway, he's got his trophies here. And you can actually put the gun in the case. And it fits pretty snugly. And then you can close it. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't close all the way. And it's not having anything to do with the gun. It's just the joint. I think if you maybe got some rubber bands or something and just, like, overnight kept it tight, it might close a little better. But it just feels like, I don't know. I love the detail on the inside of the case, though. So anyway, you can kind of close this, and then he can wear this um, around his body here. So then he can just kind of have it on his back. I think that's really cool. It's a really nice accessory. It works fairly well. I mean, even though it doesn't close all the way, the gun doesn't really fall out, so I don't think you'd have a problem there. And then when you want to take it out, you can just go ahead and pop it into either one of his hands pretty easily. There we go. So yeah, I like this guy quite a bit. 
I don't know. He might. It's kind of tough. I can't decide which one of these are my favorite. I think it's just a figure. I think he's better. But then Claire does have a tiny Stego, so that makes her kind of win. I don't know. I wish this accessory was better. It's just not that great. But overall, I think the two figures are pretty good. I think their accessories are pretty good, with the exception of this weird screen thing. <laughs> I think, I don't know, as far as like actual accessories for the figure, I think this guy wins. But then as far as just overall accessories, Tiny Stego wins. But I definitely think they're both worth picking up. I mean, the nice thing is they're only about, I think, $7.99. I found these at Walmart, so you know, quite affordable in my opinion. They're kind of like little G.I. Joes are around the same size, pretty much same articulation, similar type accessories. So I think they're nice figures. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.